Sandra from Midwest Charm. Today I am working on some pieces out here. I'm using milk paint. I used Sweet Milk, Sweet Pickens milk paint in two different colors. I have Haberdash and Sweetwater. I am gonna be doing up this cute little primitive kids desk and bench, and then um, some corbels and some wood trivets with little feet. So just follow along as I do this, and I will go ahead and just keep this rolling. So, um, been a slow week for me posting on Instagram and stuff because we've gotten some medical news back on Josiah, which has also affected my health. So um, kind of been absorbing that information and um, I'm just using cheap chip brushes because with milk paint, it's harder to get out and it can be kind of clumpy. And instead of using my good synthetic brushes, I just tend to use a chip brush. Um, these are super cheap. But yeah, so this week's been kind of crazy at our house and uh, we're also house hunting and it's just been kind of crazy. So my videos, I have like three of them, two of them, plus this one now, that I'll be ready to go. And I just have to get everything uploaded and sit down. It's supposed to be icky, gross, muggy, awful today. So I am going to... Um, go in this afternoon and that's what I'm I plan to work on and my ducks are over there quacking because Char's out there playing with them and they think they're gonna get treats they are very uh, loud ducks and it's garbage day so you can probably hear that in the background as well he's already hit our neighborhood but we have two different services that service out here so you will probably hear and maybe even see one come down our road um, Haberdash is like a sweet, pretty, pale, greenish color. And while I've been trying to do mostly fall colors, I actually don't have a whole lot of fall colors in milk paint. So I was, and this is all raw wood, so it is soaking this stuff up. Um, I just decided to do a color that I could go ahead and stage with Christmas colors and fall colors and they'll go well with it so that's was my reasoning behind this the desk is going to be haberdash which is a gray color so this is just kind of tedious and I knew it was gonna be but just hold in there and we'll get to see the results some um, real honest to goodness milk paint has authentic milk paint has it comes in a powder form and you mix it equal parts powder to equal parts warm water whisk it up good um, some people like to use immersion blenders for really really smooth it can be sprayed if it's watered down even more and um, ran through an immersion blender um, you can spray this in your sprayer if you want I've not ever done that I just lay it on but the whole reason to use milk paint is to get that old-timey chippy awesome farmhouse look and that is my goal with this even though these are on raw wood I should have probably stained these but I just wanted to get some work done out in the garage before it got too hot so no staining today I have a couple of on my garage I, I'm sure you can see over on that side is a huge mess right now um, we've got a lot of pieces in there that aren't done and pieces that might need some work and I'm kind of still very hung up with my arm so I'm not getting done what I would like to get done but that'll come in time maybe it'll come in time so today is just to get a few small pieces for the shop for next week um, I already made a delivery to the store this morning with um, a cute dining table and if you watch my Instagram that table will be posted next so you'll get to see the steps of redoing that and it is super cute and i am super jealous that it is not in my dining room um i do have another dining set in the waiting and depending on how long this video is i may get that to show you that Otherwise, you'll just have to stay tuned. So, layer one, it's ugly. I don't care. I want chippy. So this is just 
gonna sit and dry. Oh, did I get that part? I didn't. Um, I wanna get all sides of this, as I think this would be a really great shelf sitter um, to put behind a stack of books. Um, even hung on the wall, it would be super cute. Oh, that raw wood is just soaking in that paint. Oh, I found more spots. And you'll see Char peeking in and out. She's uh, out with, here with me since all the boys are inside doing boy things. And Katie's working. So she's out here playing with the chickens. You may see her catching the one. They call it quail. It's not a quail. It's just a teeny tiny chicken. And that's what she has. She uh, just, the little thing lets it catch her, lets her catch it. And she carries him around and loves on him. did give these cedar corbels a quick sand, you can see my sander sitting here, as well as the desktop and bench top, I gave a quick sand as well. Um, my thoughts on that were it was kind of shiny with some shellac it looked like, um, or varnish even, it may even be varnish, but I wanted, uh, wanted the to not totally chip off and my fear was it would totally chip off if I had left it as is. So these are going to be matching these two corbels here. They're going to both be in this sweet water. And I may not do those trivets just yet. I'm not sure. This milk pink is food safe 100%. Um, on those trivets I would do that and then probably just seal them up with some hemp oil or something to give it a little shine and a little protection. Slapping this on. Like I said, I'm, I'm not being careful. I'm just getting a coat of this on. That kind of also varies up the chipping a little bit depending on how you get it on there. So. Getting all the good stuff. Uh, the sweet water, I did two tablespoons. And the haberdash, I did four. And I do have more of both if I should need it. So yeah, good fun stuff is we are house hunting, which is very exciting, and we are first time home buyers. We've rented our entire adulthood. So it's it's really exciting and very foreign to be out looking at houses and trying to decide exactly what we're looking for and where our importance, you know, What's highest on our, our want list? Okay, so paint is slapped on those. I am gonna do this one trivet up with the last little bit I have in here. And if it doesn't all go, I can mix up more when I do that bigger trivet. is not getting in all the nooks and crannies it's just getting the tops and the edges which is fine that'll help add to the whole chippy feel of it I think um, we'll see and I may end up going over this with a different paint if I really don't like how it turns out so that's the good thing about paint is you can always change your mind I think I managed to remember to get pictures, before pictures of everything this time. So I usually forget. I usually to be honest. I usually forget. Okay, haberdash. When you let this sit, it thickens up. Um, you can always do it a little thinner or a little thicker. I'm looking for my water bottle. I'm going to thin this out a little bit. And this is um, definitely thicker than I 
wanted it to be. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. And it is warm water because it's been sitting in my garage. It is already 80 here in Minnesota, which for this time of year is hot. And it's super duper duper humid. And uh, I'm not digging the humidity. This is kind of heavy and awkward, so I'm just going to try to be careful with my arm. Again, just kind of slapping this paint on, and I hope this isn't cutting me off. I'm using uh, my new phone, and it's facing the other way. I usually have it facing me, so I know what you guys are seeing. But I had it all set up beforehand. This is just a sweet little primitive, perfect farmhouse. Ooh, it looks like we got some repairs to make. They tried screwing it in the wrong way and it split the wood. So we will get that filled up and glued up and then attached correctly. And then it'll get a touch up of paint too. As you can see, it is pretty thick going on. Um, but like I said, the goal is to get some good chippiness out of this and I can't wait to have it done. I figure with as many people that are doing distance learning right now a child's desk a nice sturdy one is always a plus my joey will be going every other day to school the other boys are doing online joey is really missing his teachers and friends and classroom and he is all about having that schedule and definitely needs it so I met his bus driver this morning while they were out running a practice route and trying to get that done and very nice man and his aide seems very sweet they do have all sorts of rules about the masks which is kind of worrisome because I don't know if he's going to keep it on if he just is going to fidget too much with it he does wear them and does pretty good when we go in for appointments. So I'm hoping based on how he does there that he'll be fine at school. You just never know though. I mean, they're kids. If he's in a bad mood, it just might not happen, so. The high schools here are on an every other day schedule until the numbers drop statewide especially for our county. Again, this is not going to look perfect going on for this close first coat. In fact, it's going to look quite bad, in my opinion. Um, but again, first coat is just about getting it on. And second coat is about giving it some life. And again, just using a chippy chip brush, a cheap chip brush from, I think we got these ones at Home Depot. look of milk paint. I really do. I love the way it chips, the way it peels, the way it crackles. And with this darker stained wood underneath this gray, it should be amazing. And as you can see, it's still an automatic for me to go to my other hand to turn things. And I just am not allowed to lift yet sounds like, in fact, I'll be getting surgery um, probably in October. Get my bone hopefully healed. I 
All right, we are getting there, guys. I have my bench almost done. And who knows, maybe I'll end up going through and speeding this part up so you don't have to listen to me or watch me. But if you've made it this far, what do you guys, when looking for a house, what are your key factors? What are you looking for? What are some of the things that attracts you to an area or not? Um, my husband works daily. So for us, being a little closer to his work would be great. So he has less of a commute. I can commute for appointments for Joey or me or the kids a lot easier than he can travel to work every day. So me traveling isn't so much a big deal. His commute being cut down would be great. We uh, love our animals and our pets. So, you know, either some small amount of acreage would be great. Um, we'd like to be able to keep our chickens and ducks as they are pets and they are named and I don't know if you could see back there when Char was back there, but she carries those babies around and of course, eggs are a benefit. <laughs> um, so we would like a little bit of land for that. Obviously we would prefer a four bedroom with our crew that we still have at home. And what else? Honestly, it can be a fixer-upper. I am all for doing some painting or kitchen work or stuff like that. That doesn't scare us. I don't know. Being first-time home buyers, it's been um, quite the experience so far. I'm going to have to go make some more to finish this desk, I think. Someone's yelling at their dog. Okay. I'm just going to get a little bit of this mixed up here. This does have a little drawer that pulls out, so we will this uh, probably pull it out actually This was a desk we got in a yard sale haul. If you go back into my videos, um, actually all these items today were from the same haul video. Um, it was from the lady that I've bought and stuff from before. And I just knew I had to go to her sale when she had it. And I'm so glad I did because I got some really great things. Probably not catching much of this painting because it is behind, but I did promise some DIY videos and I will have some more coming up. I have some wreaths to make, which that video, whole video is not up yet, but I will get that up soon. Um, it'll actually probably be this afternoon. I'll get my videos up and scheduled to be up if I end up getting more than one downloaded in time. Katie had some fun and got some goodies while we were out fabric shopping and super excited about what we found. 
I got some items to make wreaths and like bad tobacco baskets and put words and flowers in them. So I'm planning on getting those worked on, but I just hadn't yet. I was waiting for the kids to pick me up some glue, which they did. And this is getting a little clumpy. This is real milk paint. If it's left out, it doesn't save, so it only makes up what you need. If it's left out, it will go bad. And clumps aren't necessarily bad in this if you're looking for that chippy look, which I am. But I also want to get more of this painted before it's gone. So I did pretty good getting it. Let me get those sides done. I usually mix up in an old mug or an old bowl, or um, I've been known to use canning jars before and just um, put the lid on it and shake it until it's nice and smooth. Milk paint is not very forgiving when it comes to getting it on your clothes, so if you get it on there, make sure you're washing it off right away or you're wearing something that it just doesn't matter to you. Ooh. Trying to get this last little bit done. I'm gonna have to make some more. I thought I had done up enough. But, alas, I did not. So, I will go ahead and stop the video and go mix up more before I go ahead and get this posted. But watch my Instagram. All these pieces will go up on there. I will put the befores and the afters and get them up for you and as always guys thanks for watching um like subscribe share i am really looking to build this back up since my accident happened i was getting a good following and and then my world kind of fell apart so here i am with one leg in the back left. I don't think it's going to make it. Maybe. Maybe that was just enough. For that first coat. This will get two coats. Everything up here will get two coats and then sand it back to reveal what that chippiness has for us. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.